How's it going everyone? Before the video begins, I'd like to ask if you would all like to go and follow my Twitch stream at twitch.tv forward slash studyleave. I stream pretty often and pretty good content, as I've been told. I've set a goal of hitting 1,000 followers on Twitch this month, and I'd love if you guys could all help me. And also, today's random shout out goes to Miracle Gaming. There is nothing else to say, but if you guys love Nixium and very well done Machinimas, go check him out. He is very talented but underrated, and I'd love to see his channel blow up. Not literally, of course. He's currently at 460 subscribers, and let's help him hit 1000 without him knowing. And without further ado, let's start the countdown! Warcraft Baba! From literal chessboards to bosses people even struggle to beat nowadays, today people, we count down the 5 most annoying bosses in World of Warcraft's expansive history. Starting with number 5, Nether Spite within Karazhan. Nether Spite is a gigantic nether dragon lurking in the celestial watch portion of Karazhan. Killing Nether Spite basically requires players to take turn absorbing various coloured beams from three portals that spawn during a certain phase of the fight. Basically, the entire fight is a huge game of uninteresting musical chairs, and after a few attempts becomes enough to annoy even the most stalwart player. The only redeeming quality of this boss? Nether Spite is totally optional continuing progression in Karazhan. And number 4, we have the Twin Emperors within the Temple of Ankaraj. The Twin Emperors in the Temple of Ankaraj are one of those fights in the game that is so hard, so skill intensive, that it has the potential to implode guilds. While I am all for challenging fights, there comes a point when things might be a little bit too hard, too annoying, too stress inducing, and too much of a headache. You can safely say this too much rule applies when players were going back to the Twin Emperors at level 90 and still struggling to defeat them. In number 3 we have the Faction Champions in the Trial of the Crusader. Have you ever thought, gee, wouldn't it be great to have a boss in a raid instance that would completely ignore your raid skills and gear and instead be much like uh, walking into a PvP arena? Or even take it one step further and have a whole host of such bosses? Yeah, me neither. However, for some reason, this exact setup happened in the Trial of Crusader Raid Dungeon in Wrath of the Lich King. Raiders found themselves pitted against several NPCs in a PvP style fight. This fight was chaotic, required massive gear changes, and threw raiders out of their element in a very, very, very bad way. Easily putting this boss fight as one of the worst, most annoying boss fights ever. In number 2 we have Razor Gore the Untamed within Blackwing Lair. Razor Gore is the first boss in Blackwing Lair and possibly holds the title of my least favourite, most annoying boss ever. Razor Gore is the first raid boss in the instance and is located in the Egg Lair. To defeat Razor Gore, basically you are going to have to deal with ads. A lot of ads. So many ads that when completing this instance back in the day, the lag would be so bad that it caused shockwaves on the other side of the planet. Those of us who had to deal with this only wish we could say we were exaggerating. Razor Gore will forever cause millions of players to shudder in horror at his very name for years to come. And in number one, we have the Karazhan Chess Event. A fight where the word strategy was put to the limit and literally made guilds disband in. The fight consists of players taking control of set pieces on the chessboard, ranging from guards, King Lane, and Warchief Blackhand, you know, the one that we killed in Draenor. Anyways, it's all good and all, but Blizzard thought it would be a brilliant idea to implement a randomized mechanic that causes Mediv, the one that's hosting the game, to cheat. Overall, a lot of players cringe at even the thought of having to solo this event today. Mm, that is going to conclude the video for today. I hope you guys did all enjoy it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, please go and follow me at twitch.tv forward slash studyleaves. I stream really often. And check out Miracle Movies. His channel will be in the description and the comment section below. This has been the Warcraft Bible. Stay devoted. <laughs>